she got the flu for 14 days, she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. She definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. She doesn't need it because the, it, it's the be, it's the most potent vaccination is getting infected yourself. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man, it's about time they got Mr. Fauci out in Congress grilling his monkey ass. Love it. And so far, for the clips I've seen, Miss Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia, go dogs, <laughs> MTG came out and start ra 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 chaos. Just went after his ass. Mr. Fauci, you were quoted on CBS Face the Nation saying it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science. Because I represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? I am a scientist who uses the scientific method to gain information. Yes, and you said you represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? Yes again, or no? It, yes or no? No, that's not a yes or no answer. Yes, it's a yes or no. I don't think it is. Okay, well, we'll take that as a you don't know what you represent. Oh, I... But this, as director of the NIH, you did sign off on these so-called scientific experiments. And as a dog lover, I want to tell you this is disgusting and evil what you signed off on and these experiments that happened to beagles paid for by the American taxpayer. And I want you to know Americans don't pay their taxes for animals to be tortured like this. So the type of science that you are representing, Mr. Fauci, is abhorrent and it needs to stop. Now, you know how white women are with their dogs now. You don't mess with these dogs. And Dr. Fauci was experimenting with beagles of all dogs, not the cute beagles. <laughs> Go. Mr. Fauci, you also represent the type of science that you, where you confess that you made up the COVID rules, including I didn't hear what you six said. feet social made... distancing and masking of children. I never you said just, I made anything up. You admitted that you made it up. You made it up say as you went. I made it up. So are you saying this is fake news, Mr. I Fauci? I didn't say I made anything up. What did you say? I said that it is not based in science and it just appeared. But this is science. What does dogs have to do with anything that we're talking these about are, today? These are scientific experiments. This is what you signed off on. But you also told the American people they had to distance by six feet. They had to wear masks. But let's also talk a little bit further about the type of science that you represent. NIH scientists made $710 million in royalties from drug, drug makers, a fact that's been hidden. Let's talk about the fact about, is it right for scientists and doctors getting paid by the American people, government taxpayer paychecks to get patents, where they're paid millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in royalty fees, especially when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country, are recommending medical uh, suggestions and advice and making up guidelines like six feet distancing and masking of children. Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor, you're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Fauci, objection. I reclaim Mr. my Chairman, time. Objection. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time, Mr. Raskin. Gentle lady will suspend. Order. Damn, Mr. Fauci. I love it. I love it. You get no respect over here. Let's do it. 
Go. This was a time in history where you got to throw out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals baseball game while Americans were forced to stay home and watch such events that they love from at home alone on their televisions. And what a hypocrisy this picture shows. Here you are without your mask, with empty seats everywhere. Remember the cardboard cutout fans? That was one of the most insulting things to Americans, having to watch the games from home where you got to go and enjoy the game and sit right next to people, not following the six feet of distancing, not wearing your mask, and everyone else was forced to stay home and stop enjoying life. And your science here, your science is displayed perfectly in this picture where children Children in school were put in plastic bubbles because of your science, your repulsive, evil science. And let's go back to your very own email. You said earlier you don't use email. Oh, you do. Right here. This is your own email where you said the typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out virus. I do not recommend that you wear a mask. This is your email This is your own words. But yet children, children all over America were forced to wear masks. Healthy children forced to wear masks, muzzled in their schools. And then they were forced to learn from home because of your so-called science and your medical suggestions while you and all your cronies get paid from Big Pharma. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be cr- prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison, Dr. Fauci. Yeah, I remember in the beginning, Mr. Fauci was saying wearing a mask is pointless. And then he changed his mind and said, yeah, you should wear a mask and be six feet distance. And you can't go out this and you can't do that. And da 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 just changing the rules as they go, making everybody chaotic. The whole thing was chaotic. And, man, we lost a lot of time with our family members. We lost a lot of time with our loved ones, dying parents, had to die alone, funerals, was empty, all because of Mr. Fauci and, and the greedy big farmer pushing his drugs out on folks. Now, I am so glad, now that it's been four or five years later, I can say this now proudly, I'm glad I did not take a shot. I'm glad I did not take the the jab. I know a lot of people did. I had a lot of folks, a lot of family members was urging me, you need to take a shot. You're going to kill your kids. You're going to kill your children if you don't take the shot. You're going to kill grandma if you don't take the shot. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I got Jesus on my side and all these folks, I I lost clients. There's two clients I know that they asked me about the shot and I was like, nah, I didn't take it. And they would say, well, sir, if you don't take a shot, I I can't, I can't ride with you anymore. I'm like, okay, well, it was nice knowing you. (laughs) Bye-bye. Right. Months later, they called me back. Hey, are you still available? Like, oh, you know, I said you didn't take the shot. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm good. All these people took the shots. A lot of people got some ailments later on. From the exam room to the courtroom, this morning, new fronts in the fight against COVID-19. The CDC finding 16 to 24-year-olds who receive the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine have experienced higher than normal cases of myocarditis and inflammation of the heart muscle. Myocarditis symptoms can include fever and fatigue, shortness of breath, and chest pain. The CDC said the higher rate of cases occurred especially among young men following their second dose of an mRNA vaccine. But shit, what the hell do I know? I'm just a driver. (laughs) If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. (laughs) <laughs> all right all right till next time guys i'll see you again and dr fauci get your ass off my lawn no!